pam 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 Jordan Swears, alongside my co-host, Michael Jones. I flinged it. That's flinged. Michael, how are you flinging? Uh, I flung a steez with a little flick. You have Middle three f- cans of steez. Not anymore, yeah. I don't. Yeah, now, now you have two, two cans, cans of steez and a juvie. Of and a juvie. Yeah. Please bust into I'm the juvie I'm holding so off on the juvie. It. Yeah. He doesn't need it yet. I don't need it. I don't need rejuvenating energy yet. He slept oh, good. He doesn't need I thought it, it tasted like yeah. juvie. No, 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 no. It tastes like Bluey. Oh. It's blue raspberry juvie. All right, I'll open it because you Is want that it one to. of the dogs from Bluey? Yeah. Bluey? Suck it down. <laughs> uh, hey, it's, dad's name is Bandit. Yeah. What's his mom's name? Chili. Chili, he's right. Oh. I was taking what, a Is there another dog? Well, there's only two parents. Yeah, the kid? That's uh, Bluey. You talking about Bingo? I thought there was one other. Bingo. Bingo. That's the younger sister. I didn't know that. What are you, some kind of dumbass? I don't have kids, so I don't watch the show. Uh, yeah, me there's, neither. There's but this Jordan. Uh, I got cats, so. Get your fucking head checked. Your cats watch Bluey? No, he's, <laughs> he likes the Broadway musical Cats. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the butthole edition of the movie that they didn't release. <laughs> Edit it back in. Put the Jellicle. butt. Put the buttholes in. They're so jellical. Hey, it's a food court. Uh, Are you serious? Yeah, we need. We I'm need in some, contempt. We need. <laughs> we need some rulings from our honorable judge kings. Whoa! Oh, what the? <laughs> I was like simulating a bank. Yeah. By um, doing a bang. That was pretty good. It actually wasn't a simulation at all. It was like when Gracie posed that hypothetical. That yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetically, here's a real situation. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you want to send us in your food court submissions, you can for now at facejampod <laughs> at roosterteeth.com. We'll figure that out later. Don't worry Gracie, about it. Look at we'll this put one. him somewhere safe. Look at that one. Yep. Was well, Gracie going to put on a ring? Mm, a ring sure. of ours? She's a big that's fan cool, of, right? of Michael's new rings. Yeah. Yeah. I have, I'm not kidding, like 15. <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. How well, do you decide which ones you're going to wear each day? Well, because only so many fit so many fingers. It's true. So right. Oh, yeah. Right, but so you you wake up and you're like, Yeah. Do you have one on I'm every feeling, finger? I'm feeling I play snake. around. No, I've been going with uh, six. Okay. On each hand. Oh, okay. Sometimes I throw in the pinkies. Haven't done thumbs yet. Mm, oh, I, was yeah. I think you need to add some thumbs. Okay. I'll look into it. You know thumbs? what you should do? Go on. You should really look at some toe rings. Oh. oh. I don't I, like hanging my toes out. Yeah, no, I, I think you can make it work. I'm gonna I get, know I can make it work. I'm gonna get one of those forever anklets that like they like. Oh, it's another spot snake well. too. Gra- Gracie knows all about I it. Know, it's another know. snake ring. Oh, yep. Hey, here's our first food court submission. Uh, submitted face jam Potter. I want to talk about rings more. Actually, yeah. no, oh, I think we're good. Do you want to try on the snake? Sure, I'll try on the snake ring. Oh, what I have! I don't, I don't like that. Like, Gracie put it on Jordan, I and I did not like that. I thought she was going to hand it to me. And she well, was I was just like, handing it to me like that, and then you put your finger out. So I okay. now pronounce you Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> um, what well, I have been doing Jordan. is wearing black right? on my cool. left hand yeah. and silver on my right That's hand. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh. Nick held up a sign and said, "Weird, and I agree." What? Yeah, how you how you feeling about I'm it? I'm kind of stuck with this boring I old thing. Yeah, right. Boring old wedding room. I hear that. I feel powerful. Oh wow! Yeah, it's got it's got like an emerald in it. I feel like. Maybe I could cast some spells or something. I bet you could. Mm -hmm. A chow emerald? Chow. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, there it goes. It is weed. She is running. Sarah. Hi. (laughs) I heard y'all were running out of emails. Not true. So I thought Uh, I'd bring up two food things I do that some people said were abnormal. When I was, they're putting themselves on blast. When I was a kid, whenever I'd make hot chocolate, I'd eat it with toast. I like to dip the toast in the drink and eat. And eat delicious, warm, chocolatey, wet bread. I started asking people if they did this as a kid, and every time they look at me weird. Yeah, no shit. Has no one else really done this? I haven't done it since I was a kid because I don't drink hot chocolate anymore. Yeah, right. Does it but if day. I did drink hot chocolate, you know I'd be making toast and dipping it. Some people ask me if I put jam on my bread. That sounds gross. Oh, my God. What if my oh, chocolate God. got it, started tasting gross. like jam? I just use typical American grocery store sliced bread. What is I've that never mean? tried it with fancy bread. White bread. Maybe the texture and the taste would be weird. Um, Joe is accosting someone outside. Good. What do you think of dipping your bread in hot chocolate? No. Uh, sounds awful. Not just bread, but uh, bread you is awful. But I'm toast sorry. also sounds bad. Yeah, yeah, bread or toast. Toast. I mean, it's better than bread, but not much. I but think no, it's. I think it's, it's a liquid in hot chocolate. 
for it to be toasted. Yeah. It, I think it's weird either way. I mean, no, uh, yeah. no, it is. I think, I think it it's is, hard to. But jam makes seems sense. seems like a little more. Has he ever thought about Nutella? I, well, that, oh, see, now if you put Nutella you on the toast and then dipped it, I would still think it's weird, but it's verging closer into donut coffee no, territory. No, I'm just saying the don't way, dip it. Right. Just the, put Nutella on it. The way the email is written is like, people asked if I should put jam on my on my toast, and I'm like, I'm not going to dip jam in my yeah. hot chocolate. <laughs> Nobody suggested <laughs> right, you do right. that. Yeah. <laughs> just try jam. Right, what they're saying is try jam. That's yes. crazy. Right. Yeah. yeah, um... Look, he knows it's it's weird. Yeah, this is Amara who sent this in, and oh. they're saying that that they think it's... Is it weird, essentially, is what they're asking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's definitely weird. Um, usually, Don't get bread wet. If you can't find anyone else Don't to back you up, if you think you have this shared childhood yeah. experience mm -hmm. that's universal, and you start asking people and they look at you weird, maybe you just can't maybe that, yeah. If you want to find some like-minded people, your best bet is probably go to Burger King. <laughs> Anybody oh. sleeping at Burger King might or in the Little Caesars might yeah. <laughs> or the Little Caesars, um, but it might be a little smelly. <laughs> okay, wait. I feel like we talk about people's weird like childhood food habits a lot. Did y'all have any? They all like thought we're normal. No, we're all normal. I think. Yeah, we're yeah. super yeah. normal. I feel like all kids have something normal guys odd, right? yeah. who are normal. I did I the really... normal kid stuff. Like you pour like chalk and milk and soda together. What? I've wait, never done you, that. Yeah, that's not if you okay. Pour... So we're finding one out. Right, but I stopped doing it. <laughs> no, no, right. sure. you're, not, you're not emailing in, a podcast. In about elementary it. school, you just like you get if sometimes if you have a lunch, but then you get like school lunch. I don't know what he wrote. I ate cream cheese with a spoon. That's not really that, that weird. weird. Okay. That's more just like gremlin-y. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's not crazy. That's like also, he, that's like standing at the fridge Tony Soprano style, just yeah. shoving your face or yeah. eating eating a bag of shredded cheese. Yeah, like and then having a panic attack because the, the gabagool triggered you. <laughs> I also have a feeling that he still does this. Well, that I can believe. I used to eat, which I don't think is <laughs> <laughs> no, we were all We were all long staring pause. at him, and it was a long pause. Mm, I don't know no. if this is weird, though, but growing up on the East Coast, eating cold cuts all yeah. the time, oh, yeah. my, I wouldn't even get to it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, he sounds like a chihuahua. I know, dude. <laughs> yeah, um, get him, Gracie. <laughs> my mother would, she would take a salami, uh, like, a, like a slice of salami, put cream cheese in it, and roll it up. Oh, but wow. I feel like oh. that's like a little yeah. hors d'oeuvre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not bad. yeah I, that I would eat before. that now. I don't, yeah. but I would still eat that. Yeah. yeah, I like that. It's salami and cheese. It's just different cheese. Yeah, I have um, a really weird one for me. Oh, okay. Shock. Go right ahead. I should never like. I'm gonna regret admitting yes, that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, it's, it's I like mean, I don't even know if you. Hey, can it's call not being it. recorded. It's fine. <laughs> right. This is not gonna go anywhere. This might not even come out. Yeah, no. We might just go on vacation early. Yeah, just looking at dates. I don't even know if you can call this a food conundrum because one of the involved ingredients wasn't food. Okay. But good start. Well, so I love it. when I was really little, like my parents had a lot of friends that also had kids the same ages as me and my brother. So we would always go to like this local Mexican restaurant and they would put us all at one kid's table and just be like, okay, fuck off, go do your thing. Whoa. That's, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. We that's very cool. Took it upon ourselves every time to get the tortilla chips uh -huh. that were, you know, complimentary. Uh huh. We would color on them with the crayons that they gave you for the kids' menus and eat them. So like we would be like, oh, oh I'm gonna no, have crazy. I'm gonna have a blue they, chip or I'm gonna have a red how chip. How wouldn't they break when you're coloring them? Were you just super gentle? We must have been. But like it we got to a point where like our parents had to check the crayons and be like, non-toxic, okay. Go oh, ahead. Okay. And then, go ahead. And then like, I mean, obviously care. they weren't in support, but they were like, if you're going to do it, at least let's make sure you're not going to die you know, from it. You know, it really does explain a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're but putting we it all together. We used to, we used to do yeah, that. This is, oh, this well, is the actually, guy who invented the, the food trough, right? Like he, yeah. like he was <laughs> yes. participating in this. And yeah. this is also the same yeah. brother that when I... I'm just Sharing a lot of really bad good, stuff. Good, 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 good. Again, get him out. Get him out. Going to a black hole. I was like, I don't even remember this. Like, I was like a baby. Mm -hmm. Um, we were on a trampoline and there was bird poop on it. My brother said, "Oh, Gracie, Tootsie Roll." Gracie, <laughs> it's bird poop. I was You're a baby. baby. I don't even remember it. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I had to have been like two or three. Gracie, I'm not and a he baby, told me right. to eat bird poop. Was it How good? was it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what if I was like, dude, it was so Jesus good. I think Christ. about it all the time. And she's been chasing that high yeah. ever since. <laughs> That's why I don't mess with chocolate because it never lives up to the high. Oh, no. no. Oh, my God. <laughs> really here's a, to the here's a real Tootsie Roll. This isn't how I remember yeah, them tasting. Yeah, this is not what I remember. <laughs> well, 
Oh my god. Yeah, so I had salami and cream cheese. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes I'd pour chocolate milk and soda. Or if I got real crazy, I'd put Doritos on my on my uh, lunch meal oh, sandwich. Yeah. That's yeah. Ideal. Yeah. Salami and American cheese sandwich with Doritos. Do you ever do the thing where you get the fruit by the foot and wrap it around your finger? Oh yeah. What? No. Not really. Yeah, that was a big thing at my like school. Like the long one. Big, yeah, yeah, big like. Yeah. Then you get like a big witch finger. Yep. Oh no, I, yeah, I always preferred fruit roll ups over fruit by the Me too. Way. And you gotta get yeah. the little. They like, taste better. Not stickers, but you gotta peel the tongue them out. tattoos. Yeah, yeah, the tongue tattoos. But yeah. then it would get to a point where I'm not peeling it anymore, and I'm balling that thing up. Oh and eating yeah. It like an yeah. Apple. Have y'all yep. seen the trend where people wrap them around ice cream? No. no. It's like a new Ooh. thing that apparently you get a fruit roll up and a scoop of vanilla ice cream, and you like. Wrap it up and it Seems makes like the fruit roll freeze or something. Okay. Really and you just got an ice cream right. ball. This is yeah. just last. Up. It's apparently yeah, really good. I've never tried <laughs> it. Some, yeah. sort of, some sort of Before ice cream. Before we have to put them down? Yeah. Huh? Huh? We huh? should call whatever we do last face jam the last meal. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> the final supper. Um, what, okay, Jeez. so what do you think you're of, thinking the last supper, Jesus? I was thinking we're going to be executed. Yeah, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? The uh, sacrifice of the monkey. So what do you think okay, of- or just him. I'm sure. <laughs> we electrocute him. him. What do you say about Amara's toast? What's the ruling? Oh, Sorry, we're back Amara. to that. No. It's yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah. It's Brandy, don't do it. Unless you're making figgy pudding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> figgy pudding. Keep yeah. that bread out of Mo there, dude. Uh, moistened bread in general. Yeah. Not There's good, very, very few exceptions. Yeah. And they work. But I imagine it's taken hundreds of years of research to come up with a way to get <laughs> bread wet. <but laughs> to get moist. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the meals that you know that include moist and There's bread. a reason there's only three. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can we elaborate <laughs> on them? What are they? I'm thinking like, like tres leches that's like mm. a cake that's kind of more drenched than other cakes. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Get <laughs> bread wet and it sogs and yeah. it's no good. Yeah. yeah. And you're just putting it in. Liquid, yeah. French toast. You're just dipping it right in there. You kind of have to get French that toast, eggy, yeah. French dip. But but you're making a custard and you're, and you're like cooking it like uh, with French yeah, toast. Yeah. That's true. And those are all the ones, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna say Amara, you have to stop doing this. Yeah. You have uh, to, or at least accept it's weird. Yeah, I mean, if you can just say or I'm being weird about this, find a yeah. baby and trick it into eating poop. Yeah, <laughs> it's, if you That's can do that, then you can you're absolved. It. Yeah. <laughs> Let us. Let I've us given know. Connor really bad clemency. Rep on this show. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah, he deserves it. I, from what I hear. All right. Uh, <laughs> here, ga gavel me. All right. Here's our next one. This is from Naomi. Hello, esteemed honorable judges, bailiff, sauce Hi. monkey, and rat man. Hello. Gracie didn't even get to uh, make the list. That's, That's okay. That's fine. fine. I have a food crime to present to you. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich and chicken noodle soup. When I first met my boyfriend, now husband, he told me one of his favorite comfort foods was a PB&J sandwich dipped in a bowl of Campbell's Why? chicken noodle He's soup. Dipping it! Au More jus bread style. in liquid! Au jus style. Oh, one of the few exceptions. Mm -hmm. There you go. Grilled cheese yep. in tomato soup. Yeah. Does it uh, not PB&J yes. in tomato soup's a little bit thicker, though. <laughs> yes. It's not, it's yes. not yes. water I'm or not, milk. I'm talking broth. Now, now here's, yeah. here's where it keeps coming together. Doesn't seem to matter the jelly, but he suggests... <laughs> Chunky to be the correct choice of oh. peanut butter in this disaster. Picture this culinary catastrophe. A peanut butter and jelly sandwich, beloved by his many nostalgic and comfort food, desecrated by its immersion in a bowl of chicken noodle soup. The mere thought induces a visceral reaction of disgust in me. <laughs> anyway, so I point, married him. To the point that <laughs> yeah. I forbade him from eating this combination around me for the last eight years. Years around me. Wow. I understand and agree that individually peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chicken noodle soup are classic nostalgic comfort foods. But I asked the judges, am I right for banning this combination or should I let Kevin, oh, <laughs> she named him, uh, have this grotesque amalgamation back in his life? Your loyal bug, Naomi from Portland, Oregon. Well, what I like is immediately it, it uh, just reminded me of Gracie's story where his wife is kind of just like, I'll make sure it's non-toxic, yeah. and you can yes. go eat it yeah, over yeah, yeah, there yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. at the Kevin table, <laughs> away from me when the I'm Kevin not here. Table. Yeah. Um, oh, when, if it, when uh, she goes out of town or something, he's like, dude, "Oh, I know." Yep. Oh, he's yeah. coming out of the basement. I know he's I'm making doing. that shit in the kitchen <laughs> every meal, baby. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get the smell of chicken noodle soup emanating throughout the house. <laughs> Chunky peanut butter. It's that. It's that TikTok trend of like parents not home. It, yeah. Instead of like dog on the counter, it's peanut butter and jelly sandwich in the chicken noodle yeah, soup. In my soup. Yeah. Oh God. Just eat them. Eat them separate. Back to back. They are good. You know they mean? are good things. I, I like, but just don't. Do you, you think that that would leave them. him with too much of a sense of longing to, to have them so close to each other but I, not together? I feel like I eat stuff. I can't even name anything off the top of my head, but I eat stuff that doesn't go together at all. Mm -hmm. But I just eat them one after another. Yeah. Eat whatever you want, and then ice cream. 
I don't need to put the ice cream in the steak. That's a great point. You know what I mean? I eat the steak, then I eat the ice cream. Wait, are we talking about ice cream steak? I'm talking about ice cream steak, <laughs> but if, if you get a that good glaze work. on it, I mean, probably better than this. Probably better than peanut butter and jelly and chicken noodle soup. <laughs> But and we wrap I just, the ice cream in a oh, fruit roll up. I just and then can't. Put it on the steak. I don't there know why you, you always got to eat this shit at the same time. <laughs> yeah, put it in your mouth at the same time. I I feel like it's something that happened once, and then maybe did it was, he trip and drop it into the chicken noodle it was, soup? Like, <laughs> how does good, he even eat it? I guess it is was my good other question. One time, does he and dunk it? Yeah. yeah. Are we talking fully submerging? Because you're not eating? even eating fucking chicken noodle soup at that point. What right. are you doing with the chicken and the noodles? It's the broth. You can't. Right. You're just getting the broth. I, I bet he's eating it's, the rest of it it's later. It's not a yeah. bread spoon. Mm -mm. I bet he's eating. Don't. He thought that was cool. That sucks. Oh. Uh, don't, bread I, bowl? Bread spoon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Another instance in which, in which wet bread is okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sourdough bowl of yeah. soup. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. But it's not. You're not, it's not like getting wet. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's at the true. bottom it's and true. it's like, it's it, hollowed out. Sourdough is so fucking hard. Yeah. It like softens it, but it doesn't disintegrate. We're talking right. about white bread here, <laughs> I is, assume. Which is I assume PB and J sandwiches. Yeah. Regular American bread. Yeah. Regular that, that is American, American bread. bread. Said, Damn it. This bread only speaks English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These colors don't run. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's the ruling on this one? What do you think? Okay, so so the the ask try it separate. <laughs> yeah, he he probably has been for about eight years. I no, I feel like maybe he's just too scared. Oh, Here, here's what I would okay. do. It'll combine in your tummy. Uh -huh. Here, here's what I would do if, if I'm um Kevin, Kev Kev Kevin's Kevin. wife. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Kevin uh, one night. Hey, we're having a special dinner. We're gonna have some chicken noodle soup. Uh huh. And uh, he's like, "Wow, I love that!" Uh -huh. And then, that's how Kevin um, sounds. yeah, that's how he, sounds. Damn. <laughs> he gets excited about it. <laughs> um, so then you have that, and then as a little like for dessert, dessert you bust out the peanut butter and jelly. Make sure he's eaten all his soup. Uh, so he's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In it. And then he's gonna be like, "Oh, these." You know, this is just close enough together that I still kind of <laughs> like it, and I'm not grossing out my wife uh -huh. and making her. <laughs> Uh, force me to eat this in another room. Hide from me for eight well, years. You eat it in a closet away from my wife. Uh, so why don't we take that baby step and see if yep. see if he's receptive to that? I think that's a great ruling. Yeah, let's give that a the shot. In fact, I I feel like not only do we know that it's just it sucks because the bread goes in the broth, but the f the fact that we can. You, you say you like the two foods in the chicken noodle soup, and there's no way you're getting the chicken or the noodles. It like it it fails right there. You're not actually combining these two foods. I'm, I'm unfortunately picturing like a fucking uh like a pho spoon. Oh, uh -huh. God. And he's, oh he's, he's trying the noodle. Wow. And he's, I bet he tries. He's spooning it on there. I bet he tries. Yeah. But like how long? How long until the bread just disintegrates? You know what I mean? How long? Did right? Immediately. No, it has it has to be so fast. So yeah. you're, you're not getting shit out of that no. bowl. Yeah. So why don't we try? Why don't we try separating them? Okay. That, that's a good ruling. Let's see what happens. Come on, Kevin. Yeah. That's a good ruling. This episode is brought to you by ExpressVPN. If you're going online without ExpressVPN, it's like you're changing your clothes with your window wide open. You might not have anything to hide, but why give random creeps a chance to invade your privacy? Or in my case, your neighbor Michael. I'm not going to give him a free show. ExpressVPN pulls the curtains down on the window so the Michaels of the world cannot spy on you. Because when you go online without a VPN, your internet service provider can see every single website you visit. And then they can legally sell this information without your permission to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. So that's where ExpressVPN comes in. You browse anonymously. All thanks to a secure VPN server. You're using ExpressVPN, your ISP can't see your online activity. You basically slink into the shadows and are completely anonymous. You're like a ninja on the internet, hiding in plain sight, going about your business and nobody even knows you're there. And I'm not sure how ninjas do this, but your data is also encrypted for maximum protection. So you're like a ninja plus. And it's super easy to use. All you do is fire up the app and you click one button and boom, ExpressVPN is running. And it works on all your devices, so you're protected on your phone, your laptop, even your routers, so everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can also be protected. We are entering a new age of the internet 
where privacy is one of the most important things you can protect because we don't really know what happens to the data that is collected by your internet service provider, who they sell it to, what that company is going to use it for, and how it's going to come back to either target you or be used against the internet as a whole. So whenever I'm going online, I know I'm protected when I use ExpressVPN. So secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash facejam today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash facejam. And you can get an extra three months free. That's right. Three months. Three months free at expressvpn.com slash facejam. Here's our next one. We are fair judges. Absolutely. Dear Sauce Monks. New one. Oh, okay. My partner, Dan, and I, Mike, have a history of tolerating each other's food crimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is just tolerating each other. A history of tolerance. Ready? Ready? Okay. Who's your worse? Oh. Here's right. Dan. Here's All Dan's right. crime. Dan. After a meal, <laughs> after a meal, she will often pick at crumbs that she left on the table and eat them as she goes. Our table is only what? disinfected Wait. once a week. Wait, what? What Wait, do you mean? Are we not using plates? I don't how are they know. ending up? You just crumbing on a table? Oh, they yeah. went to the, they went to the food truck. That's how you get ants. <laughs> <laughs> That's yep. Yeah, well, no, not when Dan's around eating crumbs. all the crumbs. Uh, here's Mike's. I often eat things out of this one. I can't figure out. Okay. Okay. I often eat things out of the Ziploc slash grocery bags that are stored in by reaching in with my mouth. What? Wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. One such huh? instance, one such instance was cold rice. I have yeah. been known to do this while driving before. That's so he's eating like a horse. Yes, yeah. Yeah, he's eating, yeah. yeah, he's eating horse yeah. style. Yeah, yeah. he's demonstrating with sauce bags. Strap it to I, his head. I mean, and yeah, then just that get him with stuff is, at the bottom. That is he's like a muzzle. Trough. Trough. He's get doing him a feed bag. He's doing an, an ant eater it's style. Bag. Yeah, it's a feed bag style. It is. It's feed bag food trough style. So one's eating at the food trough, and the other one's eating like a horse. Um, I think, but those are both. The crumbs are less gross, in my opinion. Yeah, honestly, I kind of agree with that. Um, like, I mean, food hygiene wise. Probably that one's probably worse. Yeah, uh, but cold rice out of a Ziploc out bag, of a Ziploc but straight I'm, into your mouth. I'm imagining like when you like hold a Ziploc and like your hot breath is going in, like it's like steaming up. Oh. The side probably of the getting fucking freaked like that's out. Yeah, gross. Like, it. like it I can also, see it unless you're like smushing and squeezing it like uh, like a um, <laughs> like one of like those, a frosting uh, bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Icing, icing where you're squeezing um. it out. <laughs> then if you're either doing that and but it's a Ziploc bag, yeah. so it doesn't work as well. But he's going. He's saying he's going mouth in. Yeah, the yeah, bag. yeah. Well, I'm saying he wasn't. Bag, but you still might have to like push it into your mouth from the other side, or you're just going. Or you're going. And just get no. whatever comes out. I yeah, think- dude. Imagine spaghetti in a bag. Ew. <laughs> Actually, I've seen that with Jeff and Gavin. It's true. We made spaghetti in a bag. Well, friends of yours. Did it and work? It's disgusting. <laughs> did it work? I mean, I guess. Okay. <laughs> they didn't try to. We've eat got it. some data, but there it looks go. gross. So I can imagine what this. Yeah, uh, I think I think food doing. in the bag is worse. I'm ruling against Mike. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dan, you win. Congratulations. Dan, Dan Keep yeah. eating your table crumbs. But maybe you try a plate. Yeah, because then you can eat the crumbs off the plate too. Is it? But I'm like, is it starting on a plate and then it's like? It could be spreading. Like if there's a eating plate, crumbs why the would there be crumbs messy, on yeah, a table? How messy are we yeah. getting? Well, I have a plate and I eat my sandwich and when I'm done, I pour all the crumbs on the table. Uh huh. So I can come back later. Someone they're can crumbs. try it out if they want. You don't need. <laughs> don't need the crumbs. No, you know, leave they're the not, crumbs. They're not going to make a difference. You could also, probably leave them. Is it, but maybe it's crumbs like Gracie's crumbs, which is the whole pizza. That is, yeah. Because she yeah. just tore off the crust. Uh-huh. Just crust Does anyone pizza. want my pizza crumb, this entire triangle? <laughs> I do that a lot. <laughs> it's weird. Jordan Levin didn't want that. That's so weird. I yeah. offered, yeah, I specifically I'm offered that one to him. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had another piece of that crust, though. I'll take it up with him later. Uh, yeah, you do that. <laughs> Speak truth. Schedule to power. yourself for a meeting on May 13th. <laughs> So what are so the ruling is against Mike in against favor Mike Dan. in favor I of Dan. I wouldn't say I'm in favor no, of Dan. No, but but we have to pick a winner. <laughs> you have to pick a winner. Well, I Who's think we, our worst? I think that's have, the way they put it. I think we have to pick a loser versus predator. Situation. I think we have to pick a loser, and oh, that's I it. Okay. I think I no think, winners, yeah. one loser. <laughs> I think I might be two losers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there you go, Mike. You got slammed. Sorry. Let Dan know. Keep crumbing. Landry. Give me a gavel. All right, here's the next one. No no pretense. Just right into it. All right. 
I come to you, my great kings, to ask for your help as I believe my taste buds are fried. I made a discovery whilst eating pretzel sticks. Yo. That's is this from Gracie? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, hey, you let me Fucking know if this is from slug. you, Gracie. <laughs> That the pretzel gunk that gets stuck in between my teeth when washed down with orange soda no, no, takes no, on a meat-like no, taste. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> wait. I know it's not what? from Gracie because it wasn't Dr. Pepper. <laughs> wait, they're saying that the mixture of the bread and the orange soda is giving meat? I understand it, what pretzel gunk it's is. It's giving meat. It's like, a, it's like, it's like I, I don't know you get that with That's regular. crazy. <laughs> I don't get that with regular pretzels, but if, you, if you're sucking on a pretzel stick uh -huh. like a beaver eating a log, well, you'll start to get that pretzel gunk. Yeah, soft that goo. pretzel stick no. or like little. No, no, you know, like crunchy, like, in crunchy. like the bag, crunchy yeah. pretzels. Yeah, like when you eat Cheez Its and they get in the corner yeah, of your yeah, mouth. Yeah, like I'm that. telling no, you, for sure. if you suck on them, mm -hmm. you get that. You, you get you the can, meat. You can no, not the meat. But oh. I'm just talking about the goo. Oh, okay. You can the goo is real. The goo for sure. You can like. Suck on the stick, whether it's a big stick or a little stick, and basically with your teeth gnaw off the <laughs> outer rim of the pretzel. Hates this. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. That's exactly what I'm talking <laughs> he's about. He's gnawing rims off you, pretzels. Like kind of like eating corn off the cob. He, he's, yeah, he's cribbing on a, but on you, a pretzel. You just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you suck, you suck it off. Yeah, <laughs> and it gives you this like goo-like substance. Mm -hmm. um, he's talking about that. So Plus, orange soda equals meat. Equals I guess. Yeah. Meat. I request that the honorable judges of Face Jam Food Court try this combination not. so I have it. the official ruling I mean, on whether or not I am insane. Yeah, I don't think it. we need you to are try insane, it. But I'll suck on some pretzel I'm just goo. interested to know if it really tastes like meat. It doesn't, I can't imagine Gracie. what part of that I'll way. tell you right All now, right, it doesn't. Here's what I'll say. I'm not interested in this. Gracie is. Yeah. I'm I'll going to it. relinquish my judge rule. <laughs> 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 wow. Deputizing that's crazy. Okay. Gracie as a member of the okay. food court, Gracie, so yes. that Gracie need, and Michael can do this. Sticks. Here's here's what I think we should do. Okay, Gracie, I think that you should use the card. <laughs> sure. When when you <laughs> to buy <laughs> to, tell me twice <laughs> to buy pretzel sticks and orange soda. Yeah, and then film yourself doing this. And we will have an official ruling on it. Just I me. Mean, I'm the only one doing it. Yeah. No. I'll, no. Here Michael we go. wants to do it. You're doing it also. I, I wanted Gracie to just get it done. No. This is great. Let's no, go I'll do it. it. I will go get them now. Yeah. Let's okay. go do it now. Okay. We'll, we'll do it, we'll do it right, right next door. This, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It's not far. All right. So Cameron, Stay yours tuned. is delayed because yeah. you're gonna TBD. don't get anything crazy though. Like dots. That's no. Like a, it's no. Gotta I'll get like classic. No. Classic Snyder's. Like the like the pretzel sticks. Yeah. I mean, there's thin sticks and there's fat sticks. Yeah. I don't know which ones he's talking about. I think you got to get the question. thin ones and you just eat like 10 the of them. Guys? And then you got and then you got gunk in your okay. teeth. Okay. I can right. suck off the little guys too. Whoa. I'm just saying, <laughs> get me a big guy and I'll show you how it's done. I'll put that big stick in my mouth and suck it clean. And then I'll have some Pedialyte because he's a real pediophile. <laughs> uh, big time. Yeah, big pediophile. I'm well, scared. keeps me energized and refueled. Yep. Cameron, stay tuned. Uh, I think we have time for one more. Hurry up, bro. When my cousin is making ice cream, she'll put it in a bowl and add toppings to it, usually chocolate sauce. Then she'll put it in the microwave and melt it like 80% huh? so that it's basically liquid, then mix it up. I asked her why she does this because it feels pointless in having ice cream if you're just going to melt it. And she said, quote, I like it. I will add that this conversation was a few years ago. So if the, if the court needs further clarification, I can follow up. This is from Lachlan. Oh, you should have followed up first. Uh, that's insane. That to is do 80% is too much. I'll put it in for a couple seconds because it's too hard. It's hard when when like you yeah. have it's soft. Yeah. When you have but like that really liquid. hard ice cream that you have to like fucking dig. Yeah, at. it's pointless. Well, yeah. you, because you heat, up, you heat up the scoop and then you because you well, oh. not if you're eating right out of the container. Exactly, like an animal. baby. But also, not only like a crystal, you gotta you gotta <laughs> wedge the spoon in there. But yeah. when you when you pry it out, sometimes it'll fling the ice cream. Yeah, because well, it's I've, so hard. Uh, I've done it where uh -huh. I went to. Scoop the hard ice cream. You get that spoon in there finally, and then you go to wedge it out, oh, and the, the spoon, spoon goes. Whip, yep, it, bends. it just bends. And then you're like, "There is no spoon." There couple is no spoon. seconds yep. in the microwave. Couple seconds. If there's a little bit of liquid at the top, some frost, that's fine. Yeah. Now, oh, oh, you're just, talking after the microwave. Yeah, I know yeah, someone yeah. who does this. What's up? Melts Puts it in the microwave. I literally know somebody who does that. Really? But like blast percent melt. I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know them that well. I went to high school. Let with this me person, and then myself. he went and played football at. Like some 
big probably a and let's be honest. And he would always, some, always, some always was Gardner Minshew. He would always post <laughs> him doing it. He would post it, him microwaving it and be like, guys, y'all gotta get on this or whatever. No one's getting on but this. But he does it, he, exactly. Like, anyway, like not, anyway, not like a subtle, is, <laughs> not a subtle was, amount, like a full, like. This is Rob Gronkowski? <laughs> did this? <laughs> I, I, I would not No, I could name Rob drop Gronkowski. him, but like, we weren't like that. Like we Name drop him. We'll bleep it if it's important. Do it. Like, I. Just say his first name. His name was Trevor. Okay. okay. I mean, right, that's, that's it. it. And and I, I do. Now we know who you are. <laughs> wow. You're out it, motherfucker. And I do know where you played football. <laughs> Trevor Lawrence. Dude, just from yeah. just Clemson. Google. Yeah. Trevor uh, Melted Ice Cream Football. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> we got maybe him. he'll come up that way. We got, got him. him. Maybe he'll come up yeah. that way. We'll track him down. Googling him now. Uh, if there's like a slim chance he listens to this, he's going to be like, what the fuck? He's gonna be like. Well, he's he's gonna spit out his hot ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Get on this. He's gonna, yeah. he's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> what? Crazy! I thought we were acquaintances. <laughs> hey, I like that you coughed into your hat and then put it on. Put your it head. back on. <laughs> I'm, saving, I'm saving all my coughs for later. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Ew. Lock across the line. <laughs> Lachlan sent in another one. Okay, let's hear like, it. Back to back or just same same email. No, okay. but I mean, like, are they next to each other? <laughs> they fire off two immediately? My aunt makes condensed milk sandwiches. Wait, how? It's exactly what you think it is. No, I don't know what it is. A slice of bread, <gasps> then you dump a whole can or whatever amount you want. Not on the bread. And then another slice of bread. No. No. Or if you're lazy, you just use one slice of bread and fold it in half. No. I will give her the benefit of the doubt because she said it was something she made while she was in university. What? Who cares? <laughs> I shit my better. pants when I was a kid. So I was just like, well, I did it. Some of us ate bird poop. Gotta keep doing <laughs> hey. it. Hey, we Not don't by know. choice. He said, he said some we of said us. somebody. But you're if we're at her house and mention making lunch or getting a snack, Love she'll say we should have a condensed milk, milk sandwich. Well, I, what exactly is condensed milk? Just sugar. It is. It's can. like. It is like a sugar. It's so syrup isn't the right word because it's like thicker. Here, it's, it's like condensed a milk is powder. cow's milk from which water has but been it's, removed. It's, not yeah. it's most milk, often though. found no. with yeah. sugar added in the form of sweet. It's like condensed milk. Is it like gel. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. gel. It, it's in Vietnamese coffee. Yes, it's that, and thick it fucks you up. Goop, and she's putting it and on crazy. a slice Let's of bread. Crazy. Let's eat that too. <laughs> um. Yeah. Go ahead. Put it on the list. I'll try it. I I'll guess. try it. I won't put it on Gracie. I'll try this one. Yeah, you can try that one. <laughs> the All hesitation of these things was are like funny eat. because I every time they name one, I'm like, I've heard stories of people doing stuff like this. So this like I also heard a story me. of a guy who would eat it. Uh, eat condensed milk like with a spoon and it rotted all his teeth out. Oh, cool. Also, Trevor, he, that's also, crazy. No. he also smoked crack. <laughs> this, was, this was like a guy on a podcast also, <laughs> talked about this. But I think it was, but I'm pretty sure it was the condensed milk. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, she carried around this little glass pipe uh -huh. and a can of condensed milk. <laughs> milk. <laughs> sometimes uh, this, it was a pipe, sometimes it was used as a spoon. Yeah, uh -huh. this reminds me of what we were talking about <laughs> earlier like stuff we would melt it down. And when we were kids, what we would eat? Um, butter sandwiches. Wow, what? really? So yeah. toast? No. Just stacked? Just two slices of bread. American bread, baby. American <laughs> bread. Some USA, butter. baby. With some Born butter. I would, I would eat that speaking. when I was a kid. Yep. Um, I would also throw a tortilla directly onto the stove burner. And uh, get that warm and put oh, some yeah. butter on that. Oh, we'll yeah. Wrap it up. Yeah. I mean, that's I still do that. Dude, you do yep, that with some cheese. That. Yeah. yeah no, dude, you throw fine. that and you put a little bit of cinnamon and sugar on that thing oh. and then you roll it up. Woo. So good. Now you're cooking. I, I, I am a bit of a um, sucker for. I got a soft Pretzels? spot. A soft spot for like just things that are buttered, like Me too. just buttered noodles. Butter noodles. Yes. Butter noodles. Oh, I'll, I'll eat some butter noodles. Screaming butter noodles. about it. Oh, butter, I eat butter noodles, noodles probably yeah, yeah, yeah. like once or twice a week. Right. <laughs> it's it's baby food. It's what, yeah. It's when you go from a baby to a child and they just go, "Me want real food." Uh huh. Yeah. It's also butter girl dinner. noodle. Yeah. <laughs> or like a piece of sourdough and butter. Like oh, it's I'm gonna best. snack on that. With that. Yeah. I'm gonna snack on anything buttered. Mm -hmm. Buttered noodles, they glisten. Yeah. Oh, they're yeah. so good. It's yeah. good. So what do we say about Lachlan's uh, only, cousin? And yes. cousin Lachlan's family's fucked up. Yeah. What do you say about uh, melted ice cream and then also his aunt with condensed milk sandwiches? What's melted ice cream, definitely weird. Condensed milk might be worse. Yeah. Like, I, think, I think the condensed <laughs> be milk sandwiches work. 
Yeah. Like, that seems like, like more with like regular a health American hazard. bread. Let's all go be. try and have our teeth fall out. <laughs> Woo! You bring the crack. <laughs> you bring the crack. <laughs> Can we make meth? Uh, well, I think that's how have... you do it. You put some condensed milk on some. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, I think I think it's right there. Yeah, it turns yeah. into a blue crystal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Well, that's that's the ruling. Fucking make them stop. We are the ones who knock. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Well, that's uh. You're goddamn right. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it for food court. We we Forever. really late. Yeah, we uh, no. stop making these jokes. Forever. We we really laid it in on that food court. I like that one. That yeah. was a good one. Uh, you know, when it, there's when there's no tomorrow, you just kind of you know tomorrow comes today. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you can email. No. Yeah, get it. Facejampod at roosterteeth.com <laughs> if you want to send in your food submissions. <laughs> Will there be Act another email now. address later? Maybe. Uh, you know, keep us in mind. Um, but that'll do it for. It'll uh, be Michael Jordan dot NBA. <laughs> <laughs> dot NBA. <laughs> At Chicago Bulls dot com. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, wrap wrap it up. Wrap it up. Oh, that's me again. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not sticky this time. No, -uh, you're well, good. Uh, greasy. Mm -hmm. greasy. Not Gracie. No. Or crazy. Or crazy bread. <laughs> Check this out. Yeah. Outro. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Spin Silly. Don't forget to listen to a new episode of Face Jam next week. That's right. Next week, question mark. Tell a friend about the show where we used to do whatever we want. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>